The Challenged Athletes Foundation of Idaho has a mission to empower lives through sports and the organization continues to grow after it got started in the Gem State a year and a half ago. Outdoor reporter Steve Dent went to Sun Valley to check out an adaptive clinic which featured a heartwarming surprise. It's an adaptive family. For the Wallace family. Teddy! Three cheers for Teddy! Saturday marked a special day as their son Teddy received a new off-road wheelchair. It's just been such uh, a blessing. I, I was definitely crying. Teddy Wallace has arthrogryposis, a condition that makes it difficult for him to use his arms and legs. Um, and has had nine surgeries in his short three and a half years of life. He has physical therapy every week and occupational therapy and has been through a lot. But the Wallace family received a grant through the Challenged Athletes Foundation and they were surprised with a grit wheelchair for Teddy. So grit has is um, in the market for all off-road wheelchairs but always for adults and so when we brought the idea to them to um, really say our kids want to do it too um, they were a willing partner in saying let's brainstorm this together and do it the right way. So for the last eight months grit and the Challenge Athletes Foundation worked to design a wheelchair for a child and Teddy got the first one ever built. We're really trying to push the envelope on innovation and saying, how can we get our kids out there faster um, so that they can fall in love with the outdoors just as quickly as their peers? Today was where we knocked down one of those walls. The Challenged Athletes Foundation helped nearly 4,000 people all over the world in 2020 with nearly $6 million worth of grants. But for families like the Wallaces, a grant like this is priceless. We love the Challenge Athletes Foundation. We are so grateful for their support, how they have embraced us as a family. And they look forward to seeing what this wheelchair will mean for Teddy in the future. It's just going to be so great to see him adapt to it. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.